When I first got the Steam Deck, I made a video a while back about making a sort of minimalist desktop setup with the Steam Deck on my spare table in the game room. And while I really did like that setup, I often ended up just needing to use the table for other YouTube related stuff. Thanks to the folks over at TestSmart, my Steam Deck has upgraded from Coach to First Class. Okay, so this is my main battle station, if you will. Um, this is kind of what I've been using to edit videos, play games, whatever, um, for the last few years now. And thanks to the folks over at TestSmart, I've now been able to basically make this into an ultimate workstation, if you will. And this uh, guy right here is the centerpiece of it all. So this is a KVM switch from the folks over at TestSmart. This particular unit is the HKS0402A2U. Everybody got that? They have a bunch of different units available on their site, but this unit right here will allow me to hook up to four HDMI supported devices to both of my desktop monitors. Out of the box, you'll be happy to know that you get pretty much everything you could possibly need with a unit like this. You get a pretty nice user manual, the KVM unit itself, of course, and its power supply. You get four tethered HDMI and USB KVM cables, along with four additional HDMI cables. You get a remote, an IR receiver that you can plug into the back. You get a three pin connector and some rack ears for mounting. Now, this is my first time using a KVM switch and as a content creator, being able to have everything easily accessible in one single setup is frankly awesome. It just makes things a lot quicker and more efficient when producing content. Also, I don't necessarily have the beefiest PC in the world, so being able to delegate certain tasks to other devices for things like, say, streaming, um, it's a pretty nice convenience to have. All right, so here's everything that I have set up. I have my main Windows PC, I have a 2012 MacBook Pro, and a dock that I use for both my Switch and my Steam Deck, and it's all connected into the KVM. The KVM is then hooked up to both of my monitors, one being an ultra-wide 1440p Dell monitor and the other being an MSI 1080p curved display. Speaking of monitors, this particular unit can output up to 4K at 60 hertz. So if you're trying to use a 4K display and output at a higher refresh rate, unfortunately, this won't be able to do that for you. However, if you're like myself and only have a 1440p monitor or a 1080p monitor, then you'll be able to hit those higher refresh rates if your HDMI port allows for it. The setup was honestly pretty simple. With each device, I just connected them into the KVM with the provided HDMI and USB cables. But for my setup, only my main PC has two outputs. So the other devices, I just assigned them to my secondary monitor on top. The main reason why I wanted to have something like this instead of that sort of exclusive Steam Deck minimalist setup like I did in my other video is pretty much for convenience and efficiency. I wanted to be able to just easily record or stream footage from my Steam Deck or my Nintendo Switch into OBS quickly and easily. I wanted to be able to have a setup where I could easily stream both my Switch and my Steam Deck onto my PC, but still be able to play it full screen on the other monitor. Now I could of course just, you know, have a direct connection from my monitor to my Steam Deck or my Switch, that's not a problem at all. The thing is, is that I want to be able to use that other monitor for other things other than just exclusively the Steam Deck and the Switch. So having something like the KVM Switch will allow me the option to quickly switch between different options at the push of a button. If I wanna do some audio work on my Mac or if I want to say utilize both monitors on my main PC, I can do that quick and easy. With this setup, I'll be able to run OBS on my lower monitor using my main computer at a moment's notice and then be able to display either the game on the main monitor up top or if I need to quickly toggle to something else, I can do that as well. For my keyboard, I use my old tried and true Corsair wireless K65. I've had this thing for, I think over five years now and it's still running strong. And every time I try to replace this with something else, I always end up just going back to this. For the mouse, I have my wireless Razer Viper Ultimate. And for audio, depending on the situation, I'm using either my Scarlett 4i4 interface or I'm using my Razer Black Shark V2 Pro headset. Setting up the keyboard and mouse is simple. My keyboard and mouse are plugged into the appropriate labeled USB ports on the back of the KVM. Also, as a side note, the Viper Ultimate, if you're not familiar with it, it has a sort of charging dock that obviously not only charges the mouse, but it also doubles as a sort of USB extender. And for whatever reason, um, it doesn't seem to play nice with my KVM. I've tried uninstalling Synapse like they've recommended, still doesn't seem to work. The, the dongle itself for the mouse works fine. I plug it into the back of the unit and I'm able to use my mouse with any of my devices. Um, it's just that charging dock 
it doesn't seem to play nice with. So it's not a huge deal. I just plug it into my main PC and I can still use its charging capabilities, but it's just a weird little snag that I hit. Moving on from that, the KVM also has some additional USB ports on the back and this you can use things like maybe a flash drive or say set up a printer. For myself, however, this is where I plugged in those aforementioned audio devices. I plugged in my audio interface and my headset dongle and surprisingly it worked. Well, sort of. The audio interface itself worked just fine across all of my devices that were connected to the KVM except the Nintendo Switch, which honestly wasn't that surprising, especially since I have that constantly outputting through the Elgato HD60. But for the Razer headset, getting it to connect to my PC and Steam Deck was just fine, but my Switch and my MacBook, for whatever reason, just wouldn't work. Again, like I said, I'm not super surprised about the Switch for the same reasons, but uh, the MacBook was a little surprising, especially since using my audio interface worked no problem. I did try installing some drivers onto my MacBook, but that didn't work either and yeah i don't know i can't really explain why for whatever reason the uh, razor headset just wouldn't pair with the macbook or the switch with that being said it's not exactly a deal breaker for me with the macbook i pretty much only use that for audio production reasons and when i'm doing that i'm only using my audio interface and as far as the nintendo switch goes i only really use that on my setup here if i'm trying to say live stream or capture footage if i happen to also have obs open then i can actually hear what's going on and still be able to see everything on the top monitor. So for what I need to use it for, it still works just fine. But yeah, after I got everything all set up and working, there was really only one challenge left and it is the bane of my existence to this day. And I, frankly, I don't like participating in doing it. And that's cable management. Oh my goodness! Look, for my desktop, I try to keep that as relatively tidy as possible, you know, so it at least looks okay on camera and that sort of thing. And, you know, I like to have a clean workstation. But yeah, I try to keep the desktop tidy, but it is definitely a spaghetti monster of a mess behind the desk and I'm not gonna clean it up, you can't make me. As you can see, I opted to keep the KVM unit itself on top of the desk. And this is for two reasons, really. The first reason being a lot of my desk underneath is framed with uh, metal bars. And so I can't really utilize the those uh, brackets that it came with and install it that way. Um, the other reason is frankly that I prefer it to be on top of my desk. With it being directly on top of my desk, it's a lot easier to swap out cables for troubleshooting reasons or if I need to say plug something new in. And with all the buttons on the front, having it on top of my desk keeps everything easy to see and within reach. Hi, future me here. I uh, wanted to give a quick update with this guy. Um, functionally speaking, everything has been great. The only problem I ran into was that the little display unit on this thing, um, for whatever reason, decided to invert itself and basically it flipped upside down. I reached out to the folks at TestSmart about this problem and they basically concluded that it was likely damaged in shipping the little internal cable, something probably happened with it. Um, they told me they have since changed who they have ship out these units. so. Um, take that as you will. The, the customer support was great. They basically sent me out a new unit here, which has been working flawlessly for the last, I don't know, almost a week now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give that quick update for transparency's sake and whatnot. So uh, yeah, back to the video. Cable management and niche audio issues aside, I really like having this KVM switch. Having the flexibility to utilize both of my monitors, either for one PC or multiple simultaneously, and all at the push of a button, it just, it's an awesome perk, and it's really just streamlined a lot of what I do. In fact, if you were one of the few people who saw the fan accessory video that I did on the Steam Deck, a lot of the gameplay test footage that I got, that was using this uh, KVM switch, and it really did help with that process. I'm not gonna lie, I don't pretend to know what inherently makes a good KVM switch a good KVM switch. For my use case, whether I'm using this thing for content creation or just general multitasking, it's been excellent, and I'm super happy to have this as my setup now. I love being able to have my Steam Deck as part of this big setup now, and yeah, I'm happy to have upgraded it from that little minimalist setup. Let me know in the comments what you think, however. Do you think that the older setup that I had, that minimalist setup, was a better solution, or do you think something like this is a lot more effective? I'd love to hear any and all thoughts in the comments down below. But yeah, that's enough rambling out of me. Thank you again so much for watching. My name is Blake, and for all things tech games to really anything nerdy in between, be sure and subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.